morning, Uni Hill Church, at whatever time you're watching this video, I've got a scripture I'd love to share with you. In Colossians chapter 4, verse 12, it says this, Epaphras, who is one of you and a servant of Jesus Christ, sends greetings. He is always wrestling in prayer for you, that you may stand firm in all the will of God, mature and fully assured. I love that concept of a member of the community wrestling in prayer. And I believe that that's been the case for our community. I know for Nathan and myself, we've definitely been wrestling in prayer for you. And this is in regards to what's going to be happening in the next season for our church in both locations. What I feel the word of the Lord is for our church is slow and steady. That's been confirmed by the eldership, that's been confirmed by our leadership and staff, that I don't want to rush into this next season. So because of that, we are going to be remaining online until the end of November. But what we want you to do is we want to encourage you to gather in your homes. Currently, you can have up to 10 visitors a day. So we on Sunday morning in our household, we had up to nine people come over and it was so good to worship together, to be in the presence of other people while we're in the presence of God. It was incredible. So if you belong to a connect group, we want you to try and gather with your connect group. If there's more than 10 in that connect group, gather in a home. But why don't you reach out to one another where you can come over, have coffee, have community, join the pre-service prayer meeting and then watch church online together. We are getting closer to meeting, but my conviction is, is that we need to wait. There's going to be a lot of busyness as we approach coming out of lockdown scenarios, and we want to make sure that we are not adding weight. However, gathering is vitally important and should be prioritized. So making sure that you are gathering with like-minded community is going to bless you and strengthen your faith. Now, for those of you that may not have a connect group or an invitation, what we're going to be doing is having two services at Uni Hill Church on Sunday morning. One in the venue that is the church in the church cafe, 30 people or less, and also one in the separate venue of the Hope Centre with 30 people or less. If you'd like to attend, you have to book those tickets online uh, and they will be available to people that want to connect but may not have an invitation yet and we'll try and find you a home to be invited to after that. In the East, we're gonna be doing the same thing. We're going to be moving slow and steady, but it is a wonderful opportunity for us in the East to gather again mm -hmm. in homes, to encourage one another, to build community, to begin flexing those muscles yeah. again of gathering on Sunday. So I wanna encourage us uh, in the East can we be getting in contact with one another this week and building those in-home communities, those in-home uh, worship times uh, over the course of this week? Now, uh, if you are a person that doesn't have somewhere to gather or you can't think of someone to contact uh, for a home to get in, uh, in touch with, then contact me. Get in touch with me and we will get you into a home we will get you into that community feeling. We will yeah. make sure uh, that you have a place that you can worship uh, uh, our God together. We're going to get back into the rhythm of yes. church. We can't wait to gather again. We can't wait mm. uh, to see one another again, mm. give one another a, a COVID oh. safe high oh, five. Absolutely. Um, but at this point in time, you know what we can do? We can gather and yeah. encourage one another together in homes. What a great opportunity that is. Mm -hmm. So let's get about it. Let's yeah. get into a gathering uh, and let's really uh, get ready yeah. uh, for God to do some amazing things in homes these coming weeks. Absolutely. Now, what you're going to see in this email is a survey. We really want every person to try and conduct this survey. What it is, is it's letting us know where you are at in regards to returning to church. We want the return to church to be for all people. And that's one of the main reasons we're taking our time out of this season. As we know, in this season for many people, you have to take it day by day and moment by moment. So we'll continue to communicate with you as often as we can. And if you need more, just contact us. Uh, but if you could please do the survey, it's only four or five questions 
and then uh, it'll take you less than two minutes, but it'll really help us in planning for you to return to our church. We love you and we can't wait to see you in person as soon as possible.